So let's take a look at Topia uh, as a way of looking at sustainability and concept-based learning. So when you play, it'll take you through some tutorials at the start. I'm going to jump straight into my presets here and go to a world of Pangea, and I'm going to play this. So what I've done with staff is basically after you've learnt the skills, you'll know that you can change landscapes. Um, so I'm going to make some, um, some mountain ranges here. And by raising the land, I'm obviously getting rid of the water. And what I'm going to do here is actually just raise the land a fair bit all the way around. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do this. So I did this activity with staff the other day, and it was really quite valuable and, and really uh, powerful. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a study of one of the animals. So I'm going to look at the pinot. Now the pinot's down the bottom left-hand corner there with the long neck. A fictitious character, and I'm going to place a fair few of the pinots in there. I'll zoom in to have a little bit of a look, and I'm trying to isolate and analyse this species, this group of creatures. And I got my teachers to write down some notes about what was happening. You can see the little love hearts popping up, which means that they are mating and populating. You can see that the grass is being eaten there. I'll put some more pinots around here as well. Um, you can see that some are climbing, so we've got some characteristics of there of some being able to actually climb mountains. And so we're doing a real analysis, if you like, of the Pinot species. Um, to take this further, we can then start to introduce predators. Now, these are all fictitious, and that's where concept-based learning is really, really powerful because we're still being exposed to characteristics, predator-prey relationships and all those sort of things, and yet we're analysing and we're using iPads and Topia to analyse um, species and worlds and so forth. So I'll put a few of the uh, predators in, and you can see there that that's forcing the pinots to run higher. Um, they've got a desire to get out of this area a lot quicker. We can see the predators, how um, they are running up the hills, and they've got a characteristic of they are able to do that more effectively. You can also see down the bottom here that the trees are growing. So from a sustainability point of view, we can see worlds and how they're actually coping with what's happening on the world. So I'm going to zoom out here. You can see that some of the predators are out, and we can put in other animals and look at it. Um, basically, what's important with this sort of concept-based learning is we can look at a world that we create and then make connections with real world scenarios. And when I've done this with students and teachers, some of the big picture things that come up are concepts like sustainability, overpopulation, um, looking at climate change even, and looking at um, landscapes and, and, and how creatures interact and life cycles. So by just using this game-based app, I guess, of Topia, we can by giving students instruction and getting them to take notes and analyse what's going on, this can be an incredibly powerful type of learning. Paul Hamilton here, signing off, Apps by Paul Hamilton.